Hello friends. Today we are going to study something that your students come across every now and then. Just think, what is that one thing that you all get to hear in school from almost all the teachers? Every teacher keeps giving instructions either in the class or in the corridors. The teachers has so many do's and don'ts. However, school perhaps is not the only place where you need to listen to such instructions. Rather, the moment we enter into premises like academic institutions, entertainment arenas or similar public places, we find many instructions around that we are expected to follow. Let's see an example of what we observe in a public library. Instructions Please maintain silence. Handle the books carefully. Do not talk loudly. Identity card to be shown at the time of entry. Books taken for reading should be kept back at their places after reading. These are some common instructions we read in any library and which every visitor of the library must follow. Let's see another example. What would be the general instructions near a swimming pool? They would be read like below. Instructions Walk, don't run. Listen to instructions and obey pool rules. No diving in the shallow end. Keep the pool clean. Watch your steps while walking alongside the weight pool area. Friends, you must also be reading instructions and notices on the notice board of your school every day regarding generally assembly, sports day, school trips, annual gathering, various school and inter-school competitions, etc. As a part of writing skills, which give you an opportunity to hone your writing abilities, you too need to write such notices for various occasions and reasons. So let's study and understand notice writing in today's session. We are going to study the following points. What is the format of notice writing? How to write the notice? What kind of language should we use to create the notice? A notice is a medium of conveying different types of information to masses. We too need to give short notices to people and understand the ones given by others. One needs to understand the notice in order to carry out the expected action properly. For this, we need to follow a certain format for notice making. Things to remember while creating a notice. The notice should be in minimum words. The writing from the notice should be clear, relevant and explicit. The words from the notice should be easily understood by everyone. The writing should be grammatically correct. Sentences in the notice are declarative and imperative. Read the next two notices, for example, PRB English Medium School Pune. Notice The Republic Day. Date 20th January 2023. It is informed that all students should be present for the Republic Day on Thursday, 26th of January 2023 at 7.30 am in the school premises. The Headmistress. Gokur Society Residence Association. Notice Date 24th of December 2022 New Year's Eve Celebration On December 31st 2022, the Gokur Society Residents Association will organize a big New Year's Eve celebration in the colony. The event will begin at 7 pm. Residents of the society are invited to participate in the activities and make it a big party. Furthermore, Everyone is compelled to wear masks at all times throughout the festivities. We will also ensure that all COVID-19 precautions are performed, which includes sanitization of the location. Mr. Kamlesh, President of ABC Society Residents Association. Now let's understand the format of the notices given above and see what we have understood from them. The name and place of the school, organization or office issuing the notice should be written at the top. The word notice is written in the middle on the next line. 
the date is written on the next line to the left corner. A suitable title is chosen for the message of the notice. The notice is written in simple and clear words. Signature, name and designation of the person issuing the notice is written on the next slide. Most importantly, the notice is written in a box. The notice should be written only after understanding the context of the message to be conveyed. There should be written an appropriate title for the notice as per the context. You should practice writing different examples of notices in simplest words and manner. Let's see how good you can be at notice writing. Exercise Write the following notices for practice. Write a notice in 50 words informing the students about the sports day which will be held in the next month and about its practice starting in two days. Write a notice informing the students from standard 8th to 10th regarding an inter-school cricket competition to be held in the next month, asking the interested students to give their names for the same. Draft a notice in 30 words about a lost keychain which you found on the school ground.